Well, this is my first uh, proper visit to uh, Cranfield University. And, uh, absolutely incredible. I've flown in once or twice as a, as a private pilot and uh, had no appreciation whatsoever of the scale of it. It's wonderful for me to see just how advanced it is here. Uh, I always think of myself as I'm a, I'm a digital person born in an analog age. I was born in 1960, but now I'm approaching 60 and, uh, and I work a lot with young people. So I'm ambassador for the level of cadets, I'm ambassador for the uh, all party parliamentary group on general aviation and uh, sit on the National Education Board and so on. So. And, uh, and, and I am a great believer that young people speak in it with a different language than my generation um, uh, and all for the better. Uh, they don't have any fear of the touch screens and the buttonology and, and so on. And, and to see how, you know, the kind of world that they're going to be living in, you see it here in the laboratories and how quickly the design process can be um, channeled down from months, even for a you know, big manufacturer, down to weeks using uh, computer science and so on. And I uh, read engineering at Cambridge in the late 1970s and uh, uh, it was very different then, <laughs> very different indeed. It's just wonderful to see, I want to come back now. I've had a whirlwind tour today, um, but I'd like to come back and understand some of the things a little, a little 